In this jar right here, I have one of the world's most powerful micronutrient packed fertilizers, and it only cost me a few pennies. I'll show you how to make it. And all of this starts with seaweed. Now seaweed is hands down the most micronutrient packed material on earth. I would say on earth because what happens with seaweed is they're growing in the ocean and this magical, this magical plant is growing essentially in water. And not only is it growing in water, but it's growing on the world's largest landmass. Oceans make up the largest percentage of the overall surface area of earth. And what's incredible is all of the nutrients found on land get washed away eventually. They get washed away and where do they end up? Well, they end up in waterways. And all waterways then eventually end up in the ocean. And the ocean is the world's largest nutrient trap. The world's largest nutrient trap that has no way of getting the nutrients back out, back on land. Because when water evaporates, it leaves minerals behind, meaning water, fresh water will fall, right, as rainfall, but then that will carry with it nutrients. And the only way to get the nutrients back on land is through a plant that can take up the nutrients and grow with it. And so civilizations for centuries have been using, this is nori, but seaweed of all types to not only grow with, think potatoes in Ireland, or think sushi in Japan. They have been consuming and using nori and, and other forms of seaweed for thousands of years, and it is so important in your garden, and it costs pennies. It costs pennies, and in this little sheet of nori, there is not only lots of nitrogen, but what I'm going for are the trace minerals, the things that are depleted in our modern day soils. And in this little sheet here, there's over 70 different trace minerals, 70 different trace minerals found in this little sheet of seaweed. Okay, so to unlock the amazing micronutrient fertilizing powers of this seaweed right here, all you have to do is go to the store and buy yourself some nori or any other form of seaweed. Or if you live near the ocean, obviously you can go get it. But here's the catch. You wanna make sure you rinse the seaweed or buy rinsed seaweed. How do you know if it's been rinsed? Well, on the back of the packet, you wanna check the sodium levels. It's really simple. If the sodium is less than 4%, it's been rinsed. And that's because sodium is salt and salt is not good even in moderate quantities in your soil, it builds up. And so you, what you wanna do is you wanna go with rinsed seaweed. Super important to go with rinsed. If you're buying nori strips like this, you also wanna go with unroasted. You want just raw, just straight dried seaweed. You don't wanna go with roasted because that will destroy a lot of those, those fertilizing properties that you're going to be able to, to essentially soak back into water. So what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna take this dried seaweed, these dried seaweed strips here. This was like $3 at our local grocery store. And we're gonna take a few of them, crunch them up just like this, stick them in water. It's that simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate the reverse of what happens. So there's a lot of water soluble nutrients. And those water soluble nutrients, they were originally on land and then they got rinsed out into the waterways all the waterways drained into the ocean. The plants gathered those nutrients up to grow with and to harness the amazing micronutrients and, and fertilizing power of the ocean. Also combine that with the power of the sun, uses that to then grow and then they are dried and then we're going to return it back to the water because what are we gonna do with the water? Well, in just a day, these two or three strips is all you really need. It's very, very potent. In two or three days, your water is gonna smell like a fish market. Guarantee you, it's gonna smell like a stinky fish market. That's okay by me. These will soften up. Don't be shocked if your water turns colors as well. Some waters can turn green, yellow, orange, or in some cases, purple. Ours turned a crazy shade of it looks like rust colored, you know, at, at one direction. You pour it out, it's like this neon pinkish purple. It's so crazy. But we're gonna take this water right here and we're gonna dilute it as wild. 
why that's so purple, I have no idea, it's so cool. But this is then going to get diluted. We're gonna pour this into a watering can and apply it right to our garden to use and harness the amazing micronutrients of this water, dilute it down, and grow our amazing plants with it. Once you make your fertilizer solution and we dilute it down, we're gonna basically take that pint jar and dilute it down to about a gallon of water. And so what that's going to leave us with is a really concentrated solution that we can actually fertilize our plants with. Now you don't have to dilute it that much. You can uh, choose to keep it more concentrated because it's very gentle. It's not going to burn your plants. It's not gonna ruin your plants, but you can actually stretch it and get the most fertilizing power out of it. Now the other thing as well is put it on the leaves. Use it as a foliar feed. Plants will take up nutrients through the leaves, but you can also use it as a root drench. Root drenches are so awesome because what it essentially does is it supercharges the root system as well, giving your plants the most benefit. So use it as a foliar, use it as a root drench, and this is an amazing way to get micronutrients, specifically micronutrients. Yes, there's definitely gonna be nitrogen. Yes, there's definitely gonna be phosphorus. Yes, there's definitely gonna be potassium. But we're talking about trace minerals, 70 plus trace minerals, super packed, that have been gone in the waterways, brought back into your garden where they should be. And it's so cheap, it's so cheap to make. And you can also stretch it if you want as well. If you want to prolong how much you have or, or stretch it throughout the rest of your garden, you can dilute it, just know it's not gonna be as potent. Use your fertilizer how you want. The best thing is the fact that you really can't go wrong with this. You could, heck, you could apply it straight. It's just you'd be not, you know, you wouldn't be getting the biggest benefit out of it if you just took that little pint, threw it on your plant. So use that information how you will, but this is so incredible. I highly recommend it. We've been using a seaweed fertilizer in our garden for years. It is something that we have actually done videos on, but we constantly get questions about it. And so I just wanted to showcase just how simple this was and how easy it is to use in your garden. So there you guys go. There is how to make one of the most nutrient dense, cheap fertilizers for your garden. And I would say this is for anyone that not only has a garden, but also house plants, fruit trees, ornamentals. I know you guys are gonna ask this. Can I use it on this plant? Can I use it on that plant? This is safe enough. You could use it on absolutely anything. Now it does have a tad bit of a smell. I'm not gonna shy away from saying that. It does smell a little bit like a fish market. It just smells like the ocean. So if that offends you, you might not wanna use that on your house plants, but I would feel totally comfortable using it on my house plants only because I know that trace minerals are such an important part to having a healthy, well-rounded plant because a healthy, well-rounded, balanced diet for a plant is the same as a healthy, well-balanced diet for us. The more well-balanced our diet is, the more diverse our palate is, and the healthier we're going to be because of it. And so I absolutely recommend using this. Like I said, I've been doing this for years, doing it for years, still do it for years, even though we fertilize with trifecta, even though we use compost, even though we use worm castings, this is something that we turn to strictly for the micronutrients. The micronutrients make such a big difference in overall plant health and plant yield. And not only that, but disease resistance, pest resistance, a less stressed plant is going to have less pest and disease problems. And so I recommend this for anyone. I hope you guys will try it. If you have tried it, let me know in the comments box down below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. And as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel, reminding you to grow bigger. Take care, bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, consider clicking this one. You'll probably enjoy it just as much. I wanna thank you for your viewership because without it, this channel would not be as amazing as it is. Also, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. It's free and we upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. We also have vegetable seeds, fertilizer, or tools. If you need any of those, consider visiting mmygardener.com. Links will be in the description box below. We've got you covered. And as always, we'll see you all in the garden. Take care.